Osteopathic medical students are those students who will graduate from medical school with a DO degree. Allopathic medical students are those students who will graduate from medical school with an MD degree. Before focusing on how they are different, let's discuss the ways in which they are the same. Both allopathic and osteopathic medical students complete the same prerequisites prior to entering medical school. They earn an undergraduate degree, complete a certain number of science courses, and take the MCAT, which is the national standardized exam for entry into medical school. Once in medical school, both sets of students complete preclinical curriculum, which is comprised of the basic science courses that help them to understand human pathophysiology. They also learn the art of medicine. This includes the skills of gathering a medical history, physical diagnosis, clinical reasoning, and medical documentation. Osteopathic medical students learn the same foundational subjects as allopathic medical students, as evident by the fact that osteopathic medical students can and do take the allopathic medical board examination. But there are two important differences, which make it such that allopathic medical students cannot take the osteopathic medical board examinations. From the first day of medical school, Osteopathic medical students are taught the four tenets of osteopathic medicine. One, the body is a unit. The person is a unit of body, mind, and spirit. Two, the body is capable of self-regulation, self-healing, and health maintenance. Three, structure and function are reciprocally interrelated. And four, rational treatment is based upon the understanding of the basic principles of body unity, self-regulation, and the interrelationship of structure and function. This means that from day one, osteopathic medical students are taught to ask about each individual patient beyond their physical ailments and symptoms. They know to inquire about a patient's mental health, support systems, and connectedness because the mind, body, and spirit play a role in everyone's health. Taking care of each of these aspects is vital in speeding recovery and encouraging our body's natural self-healing abilities. Because of these tenets, osteopathic medical students learn to look for and encourage the health in people. Instead of focusing in on a disease and treating every patient with the same disease in the exact same way, osteopathic medical students learn to tailor their treatment so that it is best suited for each individual. Osteopathic physicians and osteopathic medical students specialize in patient-centered, individualized care of the whole person. As reflected in the tenets, osteopathic medical students also receive specialized training in the neuromusculoskeletal system, the relationship between structure and function of our bodies. They are taught about how the interconnectedness of the body contributes to overall health. The nerves, vasculature, muscles, bones, and connective tissue of our bodies is connected in such a way that dysfunction in one area can lead to problems in other areas. Osteopathic medical students have additional class time during the first two years of medical school dedicated to learning how to apply the relationship between the body's structure and function in order to properly diagnose and treat patients using their hands-on skills. This hands-on care is known as osteopathic manipulative treatment, or OMT. OMT can be applied to patients of all ages, abilities, and backgrounds. Osteopathic physicians and osteopathic medical students use OMT in order to help narrow their differential diagnosis, serving as an extra tool to help better identify what is happening with their patient. Additionally, OMT can be used to increase mobility, promote healing, and ease pain. When appropriate, OMT can be used in addition to or instead of medications or surgery. Osteopathic medical students spend hours learning and practicing their OMT skills during the preclinical years, 
so that by the time their clinical years begin, typically at the start of the third year of medical school, they are proficient at using OMT to diagnose and treat a wide variety of ailments. In summary, there are many ways in which osteopathic medical students and allopathic medical students are similar. The difference lies largely in the osteopathic medical student's ability to provide individualized patient-centered care through focus on the whole person, their patient's physical ailments, their mental health, their spiritual health, and their body's alignment and function, as well as the extra tool of OMT to use for diagnosis and treatment of their patients.